Welcome back to the show. Let's go ahead and get things started. My first guest tonight was one of the original crew members that started up late three years ago. He actually came back to, to see the madness. Yeah, and how far we've come. How far we've come. You're right, Courtney. Yeah. You can hear him every day on X106.3. He is also organizing the region's kickball league. Please welcome Brandon Woolham. <laughs> Big Brandon. Long time to see. Thank you, sir. Get up here. Brandon, the only guest I know that brought your balls out on set there. Oh, I brought one ball, though. Yeah. I also brought some Mardi Gras beads if you want to get Woo! crazy and okay, celebrate. That goes to Courtney. Mardi Gras beads. I didn't have to take my shirt off for this one. <laughs> oh. Somebody get the camera over there. Wait a minute. Who's <laughs> Change of subject. Change of subject. Tonight. Forget the index cards. <laughs> Brandon, thanks for coming back. I'm sure, I mean, seriously, a lot of stuff. I think that was a three-year anniversary show. That's pretty three cool. Three-year anniversary. That's what I'm we glad I never back. slept last week, no. <laughs> That's right. You kind of messed us over a few weeks ago, but we're not going to talk about that. You're here, you're happening. Um, first of all, I, I just want to let everybody at home know, this guy is crazy. You are crazy. You should see him at <laughs> games, at, at music events. He's all over the place. You guys got back from the Final Four, right? Didn't you go I to the did. Final Four? I went to the Final Four. How was that? It was awesome after WVU loss. <laughs> Brandon is one of those. He is a diehard Marshall fan, and he can't stand I WVU. went there for the sole purpose of not cheering for WVU. <laughs> and then they didn't make it, but, well, I mean, yeah, they so made then it. Yeah, so they jumped on the butler bandwagon like everybody else did. That was horrible. Uh, so we did a wedding together, too. We did Zippy's wedding last year. You DJed it. I kind of emceed it. Crazy night. I don't remember much of it, but. I'm sure there's video of it. <laughs> there's, there's plenty of video of it. We're not going to show you all. All right, but that's not why you're here. I just, I, I wanted not to here for weddings, not here for radio. <laughs> we are here. I'm here for the balls. He's, what? Yeah, well. The kickballs. We get it. <laughs> no, let's talk about it. I mean, kickball, like, this is the second year that, that you've yes. organized this, right? The, uh, it's the real deal. It's the World Adult Kickball Association. It's in its 12th year now, second year in Huntington. We play every day on every Sunday at uh, 2 p.m. Season starts May 23rd. Play at the Fieldhouse. But uh, next Sunday, we're going to have a free game for anybody else to come out and just try it out and see, get used to the rules and everything. It starts at 2 o'clock at the Fieldhouse next Sunday. Now, let's talk about that. How many teams do you have in the league? Last year, we had four. Right now, we're looking like we're going to have eight teams this year. Eight. Eight teams. Look like we're going to have about 200 players this year. So it's going to be a big kickball year in Huntington. And, and whoever wins, they get to go to Vegas for the championship, yes, right? Yes, the, you're in Vegas. The national championship, the national Waka championship is in Vegas. Our... Uh, Champion last year actually got second to last place, so we're hoping to do a little bit better this year. I think you can do better. <laughs> There's not much you can do. My team got second place last year, so we were just a little bit short. Talk about it because this isn't your backyard kickball. I mean, this is seriously. I mean, you have umpires, you have people refing the games, you have an official kickball. This isn't one that you can just pick up anywhere, right? Yeah, this is the official. This is the real deal. How many how many players are on the team? It uh, ranges from 15 to 26. 11 players play at a time on the field, and everybody that is in your lineup that day kicks. It's, it's fun, and it doesn't matter what skill level of athletic ability you have, you can play kickball. You can kick a ball. You can kick a ball. Let's, if you let's can't kick right. a ball, then maybe you shouldn't play, but I think you can kick a ball. So I think it's something that everybody can try. We have all kinds of ages. Last year we had a lot of doctors, we had surgeons, we had lawyers, and then you had me and my roommate. We were actually some of the youngest ones that played last year. So there's all age groups that play. But again, you, made, you were second to last in the... <laughs> well, my team didn't even make it to the... We made the championship and lost the championship. The team that beat us got second to last in the world <laughs> in that's, Vegas. That's horrible. So that tells you the skill level of the Huntington kickballer. So you can come play kickball and N be fine. Now, again, I mean, the question I'm sure that's always asked, rain or shine? I mean, rain or shine. We actually got lucky last year, and it was perfect every, every uh, <laughs> Sunday. But we wanted the rain. We want to play a messy game. So this year, hopefully, we can get at least one messy game in. Get the get feel all muddy a little and sloppy, yeah. So let me ask you, if you said... It, all ages, all walks of life can well, play, right? You've got to be 21. Oh, you've got to be 21. Okay. This league is not just about kickball. We play kickball. But what else do you do? But then as soon as the games are over, we go out to the bar and we get a discount on drinks. And oh, we cool. also have, there's two open bar parties throughout the season. We have one in the middle of the season, one at the end of the season. That's included in all your fees. So it's, not, it's a kickball league, but it's a wild league too. So You'll have fun. It's a very social league. Do you do different divisions? Like, do you have like a media division, like all media players, or is it all just jumbled up? No, last year I was the only media person that played, so hopefully we can get some of you all on board this well, year. We'll try out. I know there's a few, <laughs> few people on my crew that want to want to do uh, some kickball this year. What about injuries? Because I'm always I'm, I'm a little girl when it comes to that. I'm I, I'm always worried about. Oh my goodness, am I going to get hurt? Did anyone get real hurt last year? We had two injuries last year, nothing big. I think we had one minor hamstring tweak and the. Couple rolled ankles and little stuff like that. But you're not liable for that. You don't have to worry about. It. You don't have to no, pay the bill. Right? They signed that. They signed the waiver at the beginning of the year. Well, like I said, it's kind of a party league too. So a lot of times it's their own fault if they did a little 
<laughs> bit of drinking before they play it. Get a little courage up before they go. So again, I mean, you, you play this game. Do you do you have a coach that tells you what to do? Do you have like a players coach? Each that, team has their captain, but the, the captain usually plays too. Some of the teams have captains that don't play. I mean, we keep the book. We do everything. Everything's legit. This is this Dog is real. To the World Adult Kickball Association. It's the real deal. This is it's real. all about kickball and socializing. So you have your own website, <coughs> Jewel City Kickball. Is that correct? It's kickball.com slash WV Jewel City. Okay, cool. So you can check that out for more information. Got a little super there at the bottom of the screen so you can find that. Brandon, thank you for coming back on the show. And It's, and it's glad to be back. Three years. I can't believe it's been that long. Three years. You were here three years ago. That means I graduated like almost three years ago. That's, That's crazy. Right. Have you actually got your diploma? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He, he's legit. <laughs> Still got the same job, too. <laughs> Still Brandon, making the same amount of money. Thanks, buddy, for coming on. We'll be right back with music from Gage.